Hello, and thank you for joining. My name is Annika Forzani, and I am the author of Building Bridges with Bilingual Books and Multicultural Resources. For teachers who are invested in truly creating a culturally responsive classroom, we've had great feedback on this teaching resource. This manual includes numerous detailed multicultural lesson plans, diversity activities, literacy games, language profiles, and many more resources that can be used to foster welcoming and inclusive classrooms and support diverse learners. The book has many lesson plans and they're broken out into three themes. Cultural awareness and diversity, folktales, fables, myths, and legends, and holidays and festivals. I'd like to take just a brief look at an example of one of the lessons. This lesson uses the book Samira's Eid to learn about Ramadan and the Eid holidays. The beginning of each lesson tells the goal of the lesson and shows a snapshot of what the students will be doing. It also provides useful background information for the facilitator about the book and or the holiday. The lesson plan structure is as follows. Each lesson plan includes objectives, essential questions, materials that will be used, how it links and integrates across subject areas, a list of vocabulary. It also looks at procedures, assessments, accommodations and differentiation, and also flashcards. Uh, it provides photocopyable flashcards. And the lessons also include extension activities and co-curricular activities. For example, in this case, we're looking at and learning about tessellations in Islamic art. And that can be integrated with math or art lessons. Kids can have the opportunity to tessellate 2D shapes. The lesson also will include extension activities related to geography, for example, project work on the Middle East. And of course, there are a lot of additional extension activities related to writing and the development of oral language. Many of the lesson plans can be adapted to different ages and to different grade levels. Another lesson I'd just like to look at briefly is the names is one on names and identity. It's a great one to work on to get to know each other in the class and build children's self-confidence. The goal is to provide children with tools that allow them to become aware of cultural diversity and to foster relationships based on respect, equality, and diversity. Games are used to introduce the concept of diversity. Children discuss what features of their identity they have in common with their peers, what they have that's specific to their identity, which features of their identity are visible, which features are invisible. Pictures are used to encourage the realization of different cultural identities from around the world. And another thing I love about it is it includes the opportunity for children to create a portfolio of their work in an all about me folder that they can add to and develop throughout the unit. So there are a lot of opportunities for them to share and to be proud of their uniqueness. Now, some of the lessons and activities do not use books, but many use a bilingual book as the base of the lesson. So to make things easy, we created sets for teachers, which include the 10 books that are used in the lessons in the book, and then the Building Bridges book itself. So really, this provides hours and hours and hours of culturally responsive instructional time. Please feel free to give us any feedback that you have about this resource or any other resources on the site. Thank you and have a great day.